New at 10 tonight, we first told you the Spartanburg Opportunity Center closed its doors a couple of weeks ago now. And there are other organizations picking up the weight. One is the Spartanburg Rescue Mission. It's been serving the county for years. Oh, Fox County's Kennedy Harris toured the shelter today. And Kennedy, what were you able to learn for the people who need it most? Yeah, the rescue mission is the largest shelter in Spartanburg County with just under 100 beds. Still not enough to fill every need, but new leadership at the shelter is leaning on personal experiences to touch others' lives. I tell people all the time, when you see me now, all you see is God's glory, but you don't know the story. Dr. Roy Williams is the Spartanburg Rescue Mission's new director. Seven different services each week. Only five months on the job, he's learned his way around the three-story building, but is still adjusting to his role. You have to be ready for whatever challenge, because we have people that comes in with crisis. Offering addiction recovery, counseling, meals, chapel services, and a structured routine. We have about 68 beds. And on the women's side, we have 28. It's his own story that drives him. I was fortunate enough to graduate from high school, go to college. Um, but the thing about it is I had a lot of resentment and anger. And I acted on it. At a point in his life, Williams became homeless, addicted to drugs and alcohol. Leaning on faith, he found his way back and devoted his time to helping others and breaking misconceptions. We've had engineers in our shelters who went through divorces and lost everything. COVID changed situations. Timothy Brown leads over all upstate rescue missions. He says as the need grows, Miracle Hill steps up however possible. What do you need help with? Some people come in that all they are looking for and all they need is a bed temporarily until they can get employment. So we provide that opportunity. For Williams, his work is a reminder of his past, <laughs> but it's also a testimony for the people he helps. If it happened for me, it gives them hope that it can happen for them. And if you're wondering how you can help, Miracle Hill relies on donations and volunteers. They say the best way to help with homelessness is to support the organizations that work with the homeless. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.